Welsh breakfast mukbang. Let's do this. Right, so today I have a Welsh breakfast mukbang for you guys out there. Obviously, I could not forget Welsh, the only country left out of the whole one. So, what do I have today? Vegetarian sausages, eggs. I got some vegan bacon. This one is actually made out of carrots. Believe it or not. I got these things. They look good. I had a couple of these already. Got some eggs. Let's do this, man. Ooh. I got this as well. <laughs> boy. So I got a... Uh, actually got a new drink this time. I thought, you know what? Why don't I just get a new drink? Uh, we haven't actually attacked this one. I got some Fanta. So without further ado, let's do this, man. Mm. I don't even need a knife. <laughs> wow. Mm. Now the thing is about the Welsh breakfast, they don't serve with baked beans, although that what I've seen on the Google, it does not look like they serve with beans, which is great for ones because I don't want beans every time. Oh my god! Whoa! Mm. This is my sister in the background. She's just getting fed. Let me tell you something about Welsh. Um, they got a rugby team. They're one of the best ones in the, in the whole rugby um thing. When I, well, I don't know rugby nation, I think that's what you call it. Um, including Australia, England, France, Scotland, I think as well. I think I already mentioned England that much. I, I, I don't think I've mentioned England yet. Uh, and we've got New Zealand, can't forget about them. I think it was Northern Ireland or Ireland maybe. Mm. Fiji I think it was. I don't know, I think it is right. Mm. But, um, Cardiff City, uh -huh. Swansea City. Kind of shitty teams, but uh, no, no offense though, but they're not the best teams. Uh, Swansea City actually relegated, I think. I think a year ago too, I believe. Hmm. Wow. Now this is actually fent. This is not lean for anyone, anyone commenting out there or trying to comment. Is that lean? I don't do no cup. I don't sip no lean. Fanta. Now the fun fact about Welsh is, um, it's not really big. Welsh is kind of, it's small. And I'm not going to put up an accent because I got nailed for my British one, for the English smuggling. Two months ago, and it didn't go well. The British don't like me. I wonder why, Kiki. I don't know. Maybe I offended them. I'm sorry, man. I'm just stating my pain. But no, um, they love. They really love rugby, uh, football. Um, um, I can't say that. It's Irish. Uh, but um, they love rugby. I mean, they're not really the best in football. No offense, like I said, but this is a fact, man. Y'all don't really know how to play football. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. What am You got Aaron Ramsey and, and Gareth Bell, I just forgot. Why was I thinking of Scotland? What? Dude, I fluffed it up already. But, um, why was I thinking about Scotland? Why? Anyways, um, we got Hennessy. We got Davies, left back. I think he doesn't play at Tottenham anymore. Um, let's see, we got Williams, who used to play at Everton, but doesn't play at there anymore. Mm. Mm. Gareth Bell. He's a striker. I'm not sure he's a striker. I don't know too many Welsh players in the Premier League. Obviously, Gareth Bell sp plays for Real Madrid, Spain. Ramsey for Juve. But besides these, those two players that are really like the one of the best. Can't name any other ones. They're really good. 
So I don't know, uh, Gareth Bell used to be a left back or a right back years ago. Like, like I'm talking about eight, nine years ago, you know, like in FIFA and that stuff. He used to actually be a left, a, a defender. Wow, this is good. Mm, look at this. It's, um, I don't know how to explain what it is, but it's basically like, I don't know how to explain what it's really made of. It's made from, from milk, obviously. It, it, it's very, it's very strange. It, it's from uh, Kinder Bueno, but it's very strange, but it's really delicious. You're not going to be wrong. It's really good. It's got like a lemon flavor to it. It's like a little mini snack, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, the toast is kind of screwed. The, the cheese didn't really go too well. Nah, that's kind of broken. But it's still good. I ain't complaining. So anyways, I'm going to talk about a very, very sensitive subject. Um, give me one second. Um, it's been all over the news, even in the Netherlands. Something really fucked up happened in the USA a while ago. But it started really blowing up recently since two or three weeks ago. And I don't know how I did not tell, talk about it. But um, I think you all know the story right now about a black person who was jogging somewhere in the States of United in, in America. Who got shot and killed by, you know, in this case, two white people. And um, it, it's, it's fucked up, dude. Like, I have no words for it. Why, I mean, what's the point of killing a guy? I mean, this is really messed up, but this is, this had everything to do with his color. Um, the guy made up all excuses saying he had suspicious pants on. I mean, what the fuck? Suspicious pants, dude. The guy was just wearing a jogging pants. It's really messed up, man. And I know racism and fascism is, uh, fascism is very big still in, uh, in Italy. It's still massive, don't get me wrong. Racism as well, but out of all the countries in the world, um, from based off, well, I don't have have any experience in the USA. I've been there once only, but I didn't deal with it personally. But all these clips that I see by on 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 social media in general, they're Americans. They're very. I don't know how to say it. I don't want to offend my my American viewers, but I don't think there's any. You can't deny that America is is very racist in general. Being very honest, uh, in the Netherlands, yes, obviously, racism is everywhere in the world. There's no freaking denying that. You've got discrimination, you've got everything. But it's really worse in America than it's in the Netherlands. We obviously have it in the Netherlands as well, but it's not as big as in America. Because, you know, in America, you got the KKK. And I'm not sure what kind of other clans you may have. Because I'm sure the KKK is not the only one that exists. Without a doubt, probably another one. Um... I think we can all agree that the KK is a messed up, in my opinion, in my perspective, it's an it's an organization, uh, it's really messed up, it's disgusting in my opinion, and um, it's just, I just have no words for it, but it's just disgusting, I think we can all agree with the fact that the KKK is one messed up organization, basically, because it is, it's organized, you know, but the guy that recorded the, um, the, the jogger, sorry, my camera, um, but the guy that recorded the um, just let me see what my camera is. Fuck's sake! Give me one second, please. I'll be right back. So, anyways, about the jogger. Um, the guy that recorded the whole incident, he he caught it on the I think it was twenty fourth of February. Uh, bear in mind, it's blown up over all social media. Uh, bear in mind, huh? The guy in his car, they were recording from a distance. You could tell because he zoomed in, you know. It's so fucking sad, dude. I, it's, it's really sad that we're killing people because of their color. There was no point. The guy was just jogging and he got shot because of his color. It's, it's really, it's fucked up, dude. I'm sorry that I'm swearing a lot, but it's really messed up, man. That we live in a world that we feel like we need to kill other people because they're not the same color as we are. It's disgusting, honestly. It really is disgusting and nasty, and, and and it makes no sense killing another person based of their appearance, sexuality, skin color, race, nationality, whatever the case may be. It's disgusting, man. It shouldn't be a thing, man. 
But unfortunately it is, and we can't do anything about it, except stand up against it and do something at least, you know? But, uh, anyways, the guy that was recording, um, he's being prosecuted. He, he's, he's actually being prosecuted because he violated a law in that state. I'm not sure in what state it happened. I did not do my research on the state. I do apologize for that, but, um... It's very funny, but it's fucking sad, actually. Um, it's funny and sad at the same time that he's being prosecuted because he violated the law of privacy. I'm like, whoa, whoa. You're telling me that this guy is getting put up in court because he filmed somebody murdering on, on, on film. If it weren't for him, he even said it himself. If it weren't for him, it wouldn't have never been a public thing. I mean, you can all say... Everyone has an own opinion, or entitled to an own opinion, you're not getting me wrong. But what would you do if you were in the same situation like the guy with the camera? If, if, I mean, they both had guns, they were armed in the truck. Not the guy, I'm not sure if the guy was armed himself in the truck, but that's not relevant. I'll do the same, because as fucked up as it sounds, I won't put my life in danger for another person, an unknown person. Because you can get killed yourself for interfering. It's really messed up, but... It's a natural reaction, you know what I mean? It's survival of the fittest. But this had nothing to do with survival of the fittest. This was just messed up. This was really messed up. Nothing to do with surviving. Bullshit. I just want to tell you that. Mm. But, um, sorry for the background. But anyways, focus. Um, the guy that recorded is going to sing in law in court because he violated law because he filmed somebody getting murdered. Uh, privacy breaking. Ridiculous. It's a joke. Whatever say that is a joke. I'm like... The, so the people want justice, obviously. I mean, shit. I don't get. I don't blame the people, man. Um, they, they, those two people will ki are killers, and apparently one was an ex-cop, and that's, in my opinion, makes it e actually even worse, because you're a cop, off duty. It's disgusting. They should be. They should be punished, man. Life sentence. Last time, out of that, what they did was not was which. Even I'm very disappointed. Not because of the way they did it, but that they killed somebody. Like, with no, for no reason. Look, it would have been a different thing if the guy would have attacked you, but even if he was not armed with anything, there's no reason in shooting a guy if he's not even got a gun on him. But fucking hell, give the guy a chance to defend himself at least. But no, in this case, it was definitely a pure form of racism, without a doubt. It's really sad, and unfortunately these cases happen every day, not only just in America, uh, but I'm speaking mainly about America right now, because that's where racism is really bad, really big and bad still, you know? Um, I'm not saying that other countries don't have it, yes, obviously, but in America, um, I believe it's worse than other countries. I know Russia is very racism, homophobic, and that in general. Um, not everyone, like I'm saying, I'm not saying everyone, and because I didn't say anything of that, but it's sad, man. It's really messed up, dude. And um, the dangerous thing about it in America as well is you don't know who's wearing, you don't know who has a gun on them. That's why I say, if I would have lived in America, none, of, none, none doesn't matter where I would go, I'd have a gun on me 24-7, really, without a doubt, man. It's just that you aren't allowed to have a gun in the Netherlands, unless you are signed by a shooting club, permission of the gemeente, as we, as we would say here, and of the government. But then, yeah, you would have to have your gun in a safe, two separate safers, safes, one safe in the, for the gun, and the clip has to be loose out of the gun. That's no point of having a gun then, you know. Yeah, no, like I said, um, just wanted to say that it's really messed up and that stuff like this happens is just really cra crazy, man. Um, there's no... Justice must be served, man. The, 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 the guy didn't deserve nothing of this, man. I mean, just imagine walking and, and, and just thinking, hey, you know what? I'm going to jog because I'm in the mood to jog. And the next thing you know is you get shot because of, because of your skin color. I mean, praise God to the family, man. Uh, family members, people that know him. It, it, this shit is just wrong, man. I know I'm talking about it long, but... Just wanted to say what I think about it. Let me know down in the comments what your opinion is on it, man. Because this this shouldn't be normal. It definitely isn't normal. So, yeah. I'm going to end the mukbang. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, bit more serious video. I really did. Um, say no to racism. Say no to racism, honestly, man. Like, it's really messed up. Uh, but be, dang be be careful when you say something about it to someone. Because you never know. It could be strapped. But um, yeah, anyways. Sorry for the background noise. I think my dad forgot to close the door. It's alright though. I hope you still enjoy the mukbang nonetheless. 
If you haven't checked out my video yesterday on lovely ASMR, ASMR 11 things you didn't know about the female body, don't forget to check it out. Really cool video. Um, Sunday on lovely ASMR, ASMR in public, I'm gonna go film in public. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.